What is up guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to climb to diamond with Yasuo. So if you want to become really good at this champ, learn a lot of different matchups and how to play him throughout the different stages of the game, this is the video for you. So the first matchup is going to be the Z. So this is a matchup that a lot of people struggle with. So first of all, his Q, uh, when you're trading against a Z, his Q deals less damage to any target beyond the first one. So if you're going to get hit by the Q, stay behind the minions, so they're going to soak up a lot of the damage. And he's pretty weak early on, right? So you have low cooldown on your Q, so if he's walking up, then you want to abuse that. You know, poke him as much as possible with that Q. But ideally, he should be playing like this. He's staying back and then he lasts it with the Q. Also, another thing here, taking bone plating on Yasuo used to be troll, but they actually changed it so your bone plating and your shield does not get proc at the same time anymore. Yeah, I'm trying to take advantage of that early spike, but he's playing it the correct way. Um, he's staying back and not just tipping up for no reason. That's fine. You can use this time to walk up and get a ward over here. So I did not see where the Nocturne started. Okay, kill survived. I think she did not notice the uh, Halo Blades. So that, of course, is Q Shuriken. You don't want to get poked too much by that one. And level 3. It's okay strong at level 3, but it's mainly at level 4. Now that you have your W shield up, you want to save it for his W shuriken. So not for one shuriken, but when he uses his W shadow and he mimics the shuriken, that's when you use it. Because if you block that out early on, before he's even level 6, then you're gonna win the trade easily. Okay. He's playing a bit too passive, I don't know what he's doing. But be patient, it's a matchup where you're going to outscale, so no reason to just run in and int it. Okay, nice first spot on the bot side. Okay. He's just running, so see I used the shuri uh, wind wall to block out the double shuriken. And just using that, you know, lethal tempo to get an advantage early on during the trades. And use your potions. Use your potions for sure, because you're playing against an assassin. Um, so if you're ever low HP, just use the potions. Not worth it to keep them. So he's within lethal range right now. Should survive, I can block his Q. Nice. I think he flashed out, so I'm not sure, but Nocturne flashed for sure. So see what I did right here is that I used the tornado to get out his um, shield. And then I walk close to him because uh, your E makes you dash in a fixed distance. So if you're standing closer to the target, you're going to dash further away. Use this to get over the wall here and then trade back on the Z and then run out. Just spam ping, you know, if they use a flash or something, because usually your teammates don't pay attention. Looks like he, uh... Uh, what? Um, so, the issue with Yasuo and Assassins is that your first item is say Berserkers, and they get AD. So that means you're not getting any HP or sustain, so if they get a couple good trades off, then... It's pretty GG's. So once again, wind wall his um, cubes. Of course, if you think you're dodging them straight away, then don't waste it. We can help. He does not have flash up. Wait, he used it on me? What? I thought it was on the Ramus. Yikes. Come on, bro, you don't have your Q up? Nice, good job. That's my bad. I actually thought that the fear was tagged on the Ramos, so that's why I did not use the tornado. That's my bad, but he made up for my mistake, so good job. But this matchup starts becoming a lot more tough at level 6. So another important thing here is 
when Z is level 6 and you have your tornado up, you do not want to use your tornado first. So what you do is that you keep your tornado and then when Z ults, he's going to appear behind you on the original position. And that's when you ult. You have to time that really well. So for example, my tornado is up right now, then Z ults, he's going to appear behind and that's when I use my Q to hit him as soon as he appears and then I ult. That is how you win. If you don't do that, he's going to demolish you. Because it's that he has one of the most OP landing phases in the game. Never could stay in one place. So that's very important. Besides also windwalling his top of Shuriken. But now he's level 6, you don't want to waste your windwall anymore. So you cannot afford to use it just as freely as I did previously. Because if your windwall is down, that's an opportunity for him to fall in. Maokai is here apparently. And also if he uses a W, that's a chance for you to trade. Right, because without the W, he can't really do much. Okay, he got the Drake, it's fine. Maokai is still missing, I have the bot with me. Maokai is level 6. I have to ping that because it's really important, you know. Go, let's go. Not all right here, was a bit too far away. Well, should be moving. Oh no. Okay, nice. I mean, that's fine. Getting a kill on another scaler, that's perfect. Remember, your ultimate, don't use the Dolion because Zed can use it to dodge your um, knock up. You see, it's really nice that they changed. So your passive shield and your windwall does not, uh, bone plating does not get proc'd at the same time. That's a really big, uh, nice change, I mean. So Nocturne does not have his ultimate up anymore. Just poke as much as possible. Right here, for example, I should not have used the windwall, but I'm way stronger right now. So now that my windwall is down, it's an opportunity for Set to all in. Careful, just using the pots here. Even being at... Oh, okay, that's a uh, critical smite. Gonna cancel his recall. Gonna stack up the Q. Be careful of the clones, gonna get a ward over here. And we'll just keep pushing. Fortunately, I think the wave is not close enough for me to be able to get two stacks before he resets. We'll just push this out. Just shove it. Try to get one plate here. It might be a bit risky though since we don't see Nocturne on the map. But you know, you had to punish when they recall too early on. So we have the CS advantage, we have kill advantage and then we also got a Top plate. That's perfect so far. So far so good. Noon Quiver, and we're gonna get the cloak. I don't like to get the cloak too early on. If I had 600 gold and only had the Berserkers, I don't like to buy this. I prefer to get the guaranteed damage. And not rely on, you know, some random low crit chance. Even with a passive, I feel like it's still not enough. I think 6 might be dead regardless, he's just gonna flash, so I'll just push here. No more running. Shut down. Yeah, Z also went down. It's all good. Then I'm gonna push for another plate. Pushing. Remember, you, you cannot always follow the enemy room. Especially not if it's an assassin, because they are typically way faster. They have better roams, you know, because of their mobility. And all that. So... Okay, 
Oh, what? Bro. Oh, my days, bro. What is that? Just denied me a kill. And wasted my ignite, too. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay, they have fed really fast on this one. So, we'll head on towards the next game. Welcome back to the next game. Now we are playing against an Echo. Uh, that's a pretty standard matchup. Uh, it's fun to play in my opinion. The worst thing here is that playing against the Masti. So this is what I typically ban every single game when I'm playing or climbing through the lower ranks. Because it's a champ that requires the entire enemy team to be able to coordinate. And that rarely happens in solo queues. So what happens is that this guy typically gets very fed early on. And when teams are not coordinated, there's no counterplay to a must -E. He out damage everything, you don't get to run away. So, if there's a ban I recommend in lower ranks, it's the must -E. And the Echo, so you can see that he has Halo Blades. That means that Echo takes Elo 1 actually, and then he gets a really fast passive proc and then he backs off. We can trade against that though, because we have the passive shield and we also have bone plating. And if you did not pay attention last game or if you did not see the game, then they just change Yasuo, so your bone plating and your passive shield does not get procced at the same time. It's actually viable on Yasuo now. It used to be trolled before because when somebody auto tag, your shield and your bone plating just got procced. I just engage with the E. Yeah, he definitely has it up based on how he's moving, I think. I think he's waiting for me to use my Q before he walks up. How does he not die? What? That is so unfortunate. But this is why you use the pot, guys. Even when you get ignited. I think that's what saves him, actually. But see, I knew what he was going to do. You know, the echo with the Halo Blades, he starts the E. And because we have this passive shield, we have bone plating, and we also have lethal tempo, so we can actually outtrade that. It sucks that I had to reset without being able to buy anything, but at least we got both of his sums out. If a jungle wants to do something, she definitely can. Let's hope they're not getting invaded. Well, they're Tristana and they must be playing on new accounts. So smurfing for sure. Don't know if they're high elo smurfs yet, but we'll see. Okay. okay, that's a good one. She had to... Uh... So against Echo, when you get your windwall, guys, what you want to block out is his Q. Want to block out his Q, so he does not get to um, get the slow off and the damage too. And then be careful of his W right here. When he uses that, you just back off. Very nice spot lane. Good play. Well played. Double kill is what we like to see. But Halo Blades makes his early game really, really strong. And that's a big wave here, so if I trade it would be pretty troll because I'd be taking a lot of unnecessary damage. Not just randomly blocking out. You with a windwall. I'm saving it once I actually need it. And that's worth it for me. Oh, he actually got out in time. That was well played. If it was intentional. But he does not have ignite. Is he winning top? Don't die to my C, please. Now we have to be careful, I missed up the windmall. Otherwise I could have killed him right here if he did not grief it. My bone planning also went on cooldown. Is it Leona coming or what? Windwall to come up. I don't see Leona yet, she could actually be mid right now. Nice. 
Oh, I hope he does not have flash out. That would be a disaster. Okay, nice. Yeah, we got the kill. We should have gotten that early on. Oh, please don't walk up. Please don't. We should have gotten the kill on the echo early on. But see, you be careful of his W. Um, that one should be really easy to dodge given uh, the mobility you have. And use the wind wall to block out his Q. Because if you get hit by that twice, then he gets two passive procs. Must see spot side, so that's why I'm spam pinging so they know. Because like even if you only get hit once by the Q, it makes it a lot easier for him to get a passive proc. So if you block that out, it's going to be really hard for him. You see, I'm just cutting around here, so he does not get to proc it all the time for free. Try to poke with the wind wall. I have my ultimate up right now. So another thing here against Echo is that if it's Echo mains, they don't like to um, put a point into their ultimate as soon as they get level 6. They try to use it to bait. So as soon as they get to low HP, they put a point into the ultimate and then they ult. To bait like a one time. Um, you know, free kill. He has ultimate out. So this guy put a point into it. I also like to just straight up put a point. Nice. Good job, Diana. So just keep pushing here, have to watch out for the Masti, oh! I have the ultimate up so I can help her. Power is kinda destroying us though. An enemy has been slain. Should just take this I think. I guess not, Echo is back so we'll just back off. Good thing that Diana just saw him over here so he did not get a free Drake at least. And I get the tier twos, and same build again. Yasu, as you already may know, he's a lot more reliant on crit than your name, because your ultimate, you know, it does not get the free armor pen if you don't crit. But having low or no crit means that you know you're losing out on free armor pen, and that's not worth it. I'm not going to hold up that one, that feels a bit too much. Let's ride under the tower too. Imagine if the Masti came, I think that would have been uh, terrible for us. I get what she tried to do though. It was a nice attempt, but... Yes, Masti is moving, but... I'm gonna let him take it. Nice, good job. So see the way I used the tornado? I did not use it until I was out of vision. Because the moment Masti sees me using the tornado, he's going to Q and dodge it. So I did not use it until I was in the brush and then he could not do anything. That way we got to survive and my teammates also reacted, so that's awesome. That's definitely not something that happens all the time in solo queue. Alright, we can go ahead and back off here. That's a very fit Kaiser. I don't know why this only happens when I'm recording a video. If I don't record a video, then they just turn it down. That means I have to record, even when I'm trying to climb myself. Okay, Nun Quiver, standard purchase. What's important on Mass Team is that, uh, similar to, you know, you know, Z like the last game, you don't want to be the first one to use your stack queue. You want to bait out Master E's Q, so the way you do that is that when your Q is stacked, you just keep auto-stacking because then he cannot see 
when you're using your auto attack when you're using your Q. So he has to use his Q at some point. He flashed. Yona's coming. Oh, the whole gang is coming. Adana close. He does not want to use it. Understandable. Because he'll be dead if he did so. And use another pot here. He's gonna greet for it. No, he's done. Lost the cannon. Okay, his ultimate is up. Remember, you can see that on his ghost. Should I help the Diana? Ooh, okay. Where are these things going? Wait, what? Okay, it's fine. We got to take out the Musty. Still have the ultimate up. Remember, the main thing a lot of people, you know, the main mistake they make is that they play too aggressive. Playing aggressive is really fine, but you have to be smart about it. If you keep just pushing up, it's obvious that you get ganked a lot. Take that one. We can also stand back up with the rip off. So now they took out the bot tower, so yeah, we actually want to rotate soon. I'm way stronger when I get to the side lane. Since I have double buffs here, I'm just gonna stay and get some plates. We can speed up the scaling a bit. Get the Kraken Slayer. See the Musty. Yeah, nice. So see, you can ult off of a lot of stuff, you know, everything that displaces, but something like Diana ult or a Trundle Pillar, you have to be really fast at pressing it. Because you don't get a, a lot of time to, um, you know, react to the ultimate. You might be trying to engage onto me. Nice. Yep. Now I just reset and then I go to the side lane. And we have the Kraken Slayer. And after that we'll buy the Infinity Edge. Be standard. Nothing special there. What's coming up now? Dragon's up in a minute. Diana's pushing. You know, sometimes I like to just camp in the brushes, you know, and then somebody might come and greet for the wave, and then you pick up a kill that way. They're not always gonna do that though. But the Drake is coming up soon, so that's why I'm staying both side, because I don't have CP. I assume they're gonna win this pretty easily. Notice has ults. I don't love that one. Be good. I stem my DFF after this. I mean, he were, the ultimate was a bit too far away. I was not close enough. I'll just go bot here. So this is how you stay up and see us. You've been fighting a lot, so you're not being able to farm that well in this game. But Silent, if you keep going mid, you're gonna share the XP and go with the AD carry. Or somebody else, and then you just fall behind. And it happens a lot in low elos that people tend to era mid a lot. But if you don't do that and you start farming the side lane, you're gonna have like eventually two or three levels above the enemy laner. Yeah, that was a, 
Didn't expect that to hit. Whoops, my bad. I extended. I did not expect that W to be over there. Oh, that's a ton of damage. Team proc on the W. And he just got blasted. Luckily, this Masti is not doing very well. But even if he did, we have a pretty good comp for him. You know, we had Nautilus point and click. A lot of CC with him as well. We had Jack C. Then my ultimate. In this case, we're pretty good to go. However, if you were playing a comp that had ill to no CC, it's very risky to play against the Masti. And they FF'd. So let's head on towards the next game and hopefully a new matchup. Victory. Game 3. Actually, I'm not quite sure who I'm playing against. I assume it is the Ilawi. Could also be the Olaf mid. But this is the type of comp where Yasuo is going to have a very rough time because they only have one squishy. I mean, technically also Rakan, but they are way too tanky for Yasuo, and Ilawi also just destroys anything that has to go melee to damage her. So it's going to be difficult to play around this, but we'll wait and see who's mid before I start talking about how to uh, play the matchup. This is definitely going to be a hard game if we mess up early on. Not only me, but just any of us. For example, if the Darius into top, the Olaf can just run down a Yasuo, same thing for Ilawi. And we don't have much synergy right here, um, so the things I can ult off of would be the Darius Hook and then the Mario, um, Maokai knockback. And probably the Maokai knockback is the most reliable one because he has some good engage. So we don't have the best synergy, but it's okay. Typically when I play him uh, in solo queue, There'll be a lot of games where you don't have any synergy at all, so it's very important that you understand how to play out the team fights and such, which I will explain. Let's see who's mid. Okay, it is the Ilawi. Okay, Ilawi, one thing. She starts Q, she can also start the W. You can abuse the early one. That's what I'm gonna try to do here. Nice, we'll take that one. So, <clears throat> against the Ilawi, uh, the main thing here is that he E, which is a projectile, meaning that you can windwall it. And if you get hit by that, it's pretty doomed, because you're gonna get demolished. And take out these tentacles right here, because it's giving her a lot more damage. Get out. Right, so we have to back off soon because you know we just got a kill. We are low HP as well. Let's CP out. The risky thing of staying right here is that the Lee Sin is really mobile, so he can catch us from a long distance. Evelyn could also come mid, and then we try to snowball this even further. But you see, I really try to take advantage of that early spike you have on Yasuo. Yeah, you, we have the wind wall right now, so you want to be blocking an E. You get hit by the E, then it's doomed. I have to try to poke her through the minions. And you can see her E can get body blocked by the minions as well. So you can, if you don't have your wind wall up, you can stay behind. You know, behind the minions when you're trading and stuff. But I certainly have to back off soon. So she has the Corrupting Potion, which is actually pretty smart. Because um, it keeps your Windwall or like your Passive Shield down. And just when your Passive Shield is coming up and if you got hit by a Corrupting Pot stack, then it's going to go on cooldown. Oh, Evelyn. Oh, that's way too close. You see, 10 tackles. She has 3 here. Ridiculous amount of damage coming in, and she's not even level 6. I'm gonna push here. 
But all at the same time, I have not reset yet. Ooh, rip cannon. Get a little bit of gold from these as well. Gonna back off, of course, your two boots as well, still. No changes there yet. However, we might have to get some armor item at some point, because even though we have a lot of damage, they have three bruisers, meaning they are tanky and they have a lot of damage. So we need to be able to survive that initial damage. We are going to out DPS them, but there's no out DPSing if we are dead. So we need some tankiness. It can be through a shield, it can be through HP or armor. We'll see depending on how the game goes. Always adjust your build depending on how the game is going and who you're playing against. Okay, that is down. It's getting a lot of tentacles, tentacles on the uh, ground. I do not think should be getting that many. Okay, we see the listen. Nice, we get a kill right here. We need to snowball, it's really important against these types of champs. Blink can take, you know, objectives. Or she can take out the Lee Sin if he's coming that way. But Darius is struggling big time top, which is not good because Olaf is another one of these champs that can just run you down. So that's why I'm trying to, you know, snowball as much as possible. Take out the tentacles, really important. You don't take this out, you're gonna get demolished even though you're fit. Use the wind wall to block out. AE, really important as well, and she has Ramble Vest, makes it even harder, you're not going to sustain, and she has armor. Dash around, really abuse your mobility here. And if she hits level 6, you have to peace out when you don't have anything up. She's doing the Herald, I'm not sure, or the White Grumps, I mean, not sure if I like this actually. I had to move, I saw the listen. The swords poor Are you out. Now we have to um Oh okay what? I she gotta But I don't think we can do anything. Evelyn's not level six yet. Now it's even f more fit Olaf. He actually got it out way faster than I expected, but I think we would still lose this for sure because it's a very fit Olaf. And it's a champ that can face tank a lot early on. Alright, got a plate here. We have this ward, so I'm not gonna place another one. I'm gonna recall behind this to reduce the chance of them cancelling my recall. He did get a kill though. The Darius. Gonna buy a control ward back to lane. Same thing here. It becomes harder and harder. Because at, at some point her Q is going to start one-shotting the backline minions. And she has some items. Means that she's going to be very tanky. So you want to snowball before that happens. And if you don't win wall that E guys. You have to peace out. Because you're gonna get destroyed by the tentacles. Try to take this out before starting a fight. And the way or the time for you to be able to engage is when she misses the E. Good. We have to get kills. 
And I knew that our ultimate was down because she used it topside. The river. No. He's gonna ult me straight up, right? No, he's not. So, another issue you might see is that even though you understand how to play against Ilawi, your teammates don't. So that means that even though you're playing correctly around the tentacles, your team has zone and then she just heals for a ton because she destroys your team. How do you manage to end this hard? I don't understand. But I had a feeling it was going to happen. Bot lane is also losing, but it's not bad. Like they are still up in CS. We are winning mid. Young is doing okay. They get a kill here, that's actually huge. I hope he gives it to the Darius. Nice. That's what we like to see. Let's take out the tentacles. I don't see Lee Sin around. I'm trying to bait out. Oh, she hit. Now we have to peace out. I think you can still do this, but if you stay FK at that one tentacle that just slammed, the other one will not spawn, and then you can wait it out. Guess it's not how it works anymore. I'm not too sure, actually. I just know that if you get by hit by one E, good luck. Always take out the tentacles. Okay, now we're fine. That's why you play a ranged champ into Ilawi usually, right? Because they can do it. They can actually take out the tentacles relatively easily. Let's ping my teammates. Remember to play around the E. When the E goes on cooldown, that's when you look to trade. And also keep an eye on how many tentacles she has. Look at this. Look at this healing, man. How insane is that? You get hit by that and it's doomed. Thing still. So now she does not have the ultimate up anymore, but the Lee is alive. So I think what I like to do is that I push, then I reset. So I can get the Kraken Slayer. But this is the problem with the Lavi. Um, she shines against champs who have to engage in melee range in order to get a kill. Why is she not auto attacking the Tristana? The sword's poor company for a long road. Right. Gonna take out this control ward soon. Olaf has this one, so he's gonna hit big time. In just one auto attack. While they're being really tanky as well. He's using his C. I don't know. I think it's also a difficult matchup for Darius normally. Like this, I just lost. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna run through this way, so you cannot escape. Unfortunate, Mr. Darius he has armor boots too. You see, they become really tanky. They don't build any AD, but they deal a lot of damage. That's what Bruces do. So the only way you can win is that you play perfectly, or almost close to perfect. Similar to like playing against the Darius, you know, you make that one mistake and it's just doomed. I so played really smart, and you see I played really aggressive early on to try to establish that lead, which could help me get, you know, more kills. 
So I'm just gonna TP back. If you can try to get this. Nobody comes. No one's coming. Nice. Three tower. Farlane got the first tower. So now we can swap. Meaning that I go mid. Uh, but I mean. Berlin? I know HP. Just gonna get a sweeper. Now you can only hope that your teammates turn in us. Oh nice, they should be able to- oh. Evelyn does not have ult. She has it now. Why is Caitlyn getting caught already? So Ilari is the type of champ that just, you know, AFK split pushes all the time. So if you're weaker than Ilari, I could flash ult. But I honestly, I don't know what she has up. Okay, that's actually good. We got a flash and TP out. Whoops, not his flash. Alright, we got that one. You see a win wall? That is if Tristana had the flash up. Look at how the Malka is getting shredded. Because Ilau is so balanced. Hey, why are they not going in? Why is she allowed to do this? We got the tentacles, they're doing the Drake. Hopefully, we're going to secure that one. I'm gonna walk up here though, just to be safe. Yeah, he might actually be doing this. And there's nothing you can do if your teammates get caught by Ilawe. Because that champ is very punishing against melee champs. But what happens is that they know what Ilawe does, but they still stack up. And when they see they get bursted, they question mark spamming. Like it's something they have never seen Ilawe do before. So yes, if they get caught, nothing you can do. You just have to play smart. Trade there for mid. Just have the herald though, so it suck big time if you used it. Right. That means the infinity edge. Ooh. We need anti healing. Olaf heals a lot. Ilawi heals a lot. Listen can also heal a lot. Maybe we have uh, who should buy it? I think it's Kaylin. And it's actually also really good if Evelyn bought it. Never could stay in one place. And yeah, Olaf is something we don't want to mess with. Let's run you down. He's way too tanky as well. And he's probably going to take no damage. I guess Kaylin wants to be silent. Okay. We don't want to fight this. We have to wait for a mistake. We had two drakes. We're getting the infernal, which is pretty nice to have. A very balanced champ and I missed up. In really balanced champs. But I am surprised that no one is buying anti-healing yet. We only have it on the Darius, but it's not going to help if they just focus us. Let's give it up. Five. 
Wasted a ghost for it. I also got caught here for no reason, so it's also my fault. As I went for the Tristana. Then I gave away a shot down, so that was not worth it, obviously. We're gonna get a shield bow now, we need some sustain. And it's also going to work as anti-burst. I think Darius got a tower, right? The team fighting right now is very risky. Let me get some anti-healing, please. Let's go bot here. We don't want to mess with that. We just got punished for it. I will follow this path and Let's see if Hilao is stepping up, then we can try to do something. What does she have? Okay, she has the ice spawn, so she's really balanced right now, meaning that every single time she W, she cannot escape. Can CC, the only way. And we can heal up because we bought some sustain. So we don't have to base here. Yeah, focus the tentacle. Pick that one out. But Drake is not up yet. And it takes stuff from the jungle. We don't completely waste the time. If we can secure this one, we would be in a very good position. However, I think Olaf did recall and then he's probably coming for a fight. That's good. Shield is out. Not sure if it's worth killing ult for it. We have to take this before Olaf comes. Then, okay, Kellen is pushing mid, that's actually smart. A lot of people don't understand this. Doing. We had to take it before they come. Nice. Just run, just run. We don't want to fight the Olaf. Has to kite a little bit. You see, I'm not running in immediately. Now we can go in. Nice, good job guys. Yeah, you see, I'm not just insta-engaging. Just because somebody's getting knocked up. If I did that, that Olaf would focus me down and then I just get straight up one shot. Be really patient. They had some good engages too with the Maokai. Some really good engages. I'm gonna stay here in case Tristan engages, then I can win one. If that's a ward over here. Fine. Here comes the downside, is that we don't have CP. Now Darius never takes CP, it's always Flash and Ghost. So, Ilari could for example be bot side, and then the fight starts over here. She can TP, and either me or Darius would not be able to. We can try forcing fights. He, ha he has the flash up, but if he doesn't time it well, she can always stop you out. Yeah, I'll have to go bot again. We have three drakes, so we just need to be patient. Play around the objectives. This makes it really broken. Every time you get W'd, you just get slowed, so you actually can't escape. But most champs will not be able to. I have sustain, so it's not too bad. It's still insane, but... Nice. You had to blast her, you know, change CC into bursting her down. Pull off. Yeah, we are not uh, messing with that. We also don't see Lee Sin, so I think I'll just back off here for a little bit. Let Darius do his thing topside.
be Lisin. Okay, nice. Securing a kill. Olaf is still here. And look at that damage. Wow. No vision around. I'm gonna stay here so I can see the Olaf if he's coming. Oh my bad, I did not block out the E. I think she's fine. Yeah, she's okay. And Chisana. Minions, GG's. Okay, we got one. Darius is pushing here, so just tolling as much as we can. Nice. If she jumps in, she might be he might be able to kill. Okay, nice. Ooh. Okay, nice. That's super. That's super well played. Unfortunately, his ultimate did not reset because um, Usana did not die. He's saving, no, he's buying us a lot of time actually, so they can't take any uh, large objective. So now we need to itemize into something tanky. Their stance is great given all that burst damage they have, so I think this is what I'll be purchasing. Actually, no, we're gonna go into um, I spawn. But I also need some HP. Just having armor is not enough. We're starting to start and we see Lee Sin around here, so they're not doing the Baron. Somebody was up here. Who was that? Was that Rakan? It was indeed. We need some good vision around the objectives. Kaden needs to knock the court. We have to do this fast. Now he's pushing bot tower. Look at who I'm focusing, guys. I'm always keeping an eye on the carry. Dead. Oh, she is not dead. Maybe she dies still. Well played. Good job. We should just go straight for the Baron. We can do it fast with uh, Caitlyn and Yasuo. See, even though I'm getting chased down, I always keep an eye on the AD carry. And in this case, I used her as a way of me to get away from the Olaf. But see, the moment I was within range, he just instant engaged onto me. So if I did not ult the Tristana, I would probably have died. So I kept the AD carry away from the fight and also took away everything she had. She had to ult me away and then she got stuck in the pit so she, this entire time she was not able to damage. People. All she could focus on was trying to escape. Now we have the soul and we have the Baron so we are in a very good position. Because you have life still, you're just gonna heal up. We don't have to base. We just keep pushing. Remember, the next item I will be purchasing is the Ice Bomb Gauntlet. Plus, I also want some HP. Armor is not enough if you uh, don't have any HP. Nice, we got everything, so we just back off now. Darius is not here, so I don't think we should be doing this.
This one, next item can be... You can get anti-healing, even better if you get guardian angel or the distance. So you could get guardian angel as the next item. Once the passive procs, then you can sell that and get the distance. That's a good way to do it. Or you can also get a thorn mill and then the healing will be gone. Now we are tank so Not quite tank, but getting there. Let's see if we can actually fight the Olaf. Nope, too broken. Too broken. If I had a minion way, I could probably fight him. But he's also really fit. But we have a soul and we also had the Baron, so the fact that he could just fight was pretty nice to witness. But you know, this was like a straight hit on fight. If I was playing probably, you know, dashing around minion waves, then yes, I think definitely. And I also ignited him, by the way. He does not have ultimate for the Caitlyn. Like, these Bruce items are so broken. It's actually insane. He has nothing for the Caitlyn. Cool. Unfortunately, Sin. It's always nice to have Maokai on your side. Point and click CC is always nice to play around. Nice. Good job, guys. We still managed to focus despite us, you know, losing early on. And that is another win. So let's head on towards the next game. GG's. Victory. Welcome back to the next game. I think this is the fourth game we have right now. And we are getting to meet Z one more time. This time it's a Z one trick. Hopefully this game won't, you know, finish as fast as the very first game. But they have a complete carry heavy team, and so do we. What? Hey, what? No one is promised to miss. And see if I can make it there. Well. He messed up. He's not gonna have a very fun time top lane, that's for sure. Ooh, okay. That was a nice one. I'm just walking this way around so I can protect him from the Z um, in case he tries to... Ooh, nearly snipe, okay. Not too bad. Okay, same thing in this matchup, guys. You know his Q. If you're going to tank the damage, then try to stay behind minions because the damage gets reduced. And don't use your wind wall for one shuriken. Save it for when he uses his W and tries to mimic his shurikens. An aggressive early on to level 1. If he steps up and auto attacks a minion, then you want to be punish him. Okay, they are still fighting. There's a lot of Aram going on. What? I thought we finished that Aram. Guess not. He's tanking some XP, which sucks a bit, but... And so you see, I took a fast trade here before I let the procced, and then I eat out. That's a level 1 Evelyn. Yikes. Right. I guess that's tilt because she got sniped previously, but it's a good thing if we shut down the Evelyn early on. That's getting dope. Oh, I had no idea what's going on this game, guys. Okay, so he's slow three now. When you use the wind wall, it has to be to block, you know, that double shuriken. Okay, we see Evelyn. And only use the wind wall if you think that you're actually getting hit. 
Otherwise, you know, you can just save it. Just walk up and poke like this. Make sure you're not taking a tower auto attack. Because that would hurt big time. I'm also sitting on a lot of gold. Because we got two kills and we are not yet. Okay, nice. I'm gonna pop a potion here in case we are getting ganked. Also, playing against Assassin, so make sure that you're always staying healthy, so if you have a potion, use it. Otherwise, if you get into low HP, just back off, even if you're going to lose, you know, a wave or something. I'm gonna stay just because I had the advantage right now. Maybe I might even be able to get a kill, who knows. Thought that one would hit. Be careful of e over here. This is going to place you within tower range. He's starting to learn how I... ...in the queues. So we definitely have to base before he gets level 6. That's important. Otherwise, you know, we are within lethal range. I'm behind XP is because um, Sarah got... ...XP from a couple of minions. I have to show this and I want to reset. Because right now it's even. I'm not getting to use my lead. I don't base. I don't get to use the lead we got. The circus as usual. A good base here. We got to spin all the gold. So same thing here, when he gets level 6 guys, what's important is that if you have a stack Q, you do not want to use it when his ultimate is up. You want to wait until he ults and the moment he appears right behind you, you have to knock him up and then you ult. You do that then you can win, if you don't then you're gonna get blasted. Almost level 6. So again as said, you see I try to take advantage early on before he gets level 6. Because when he gets level 6, it becomes really hard. It becomes really hard, right? Because he can engage whenever he wants to. So now you want to save Winwald for his W, not for his 1Q. Like this. Now he can, even if he can ult, he does not have his Q or his W, so his damage is going to be limited. See, I'm just trying to zone him away from the minions when I know it's safe. Evelyn is walking towards us. He's really low HP, so can't really do anything. See, going in and out, not give him, you know, constant electrocute procs. This year I did not use the win wall because I knew that I was going to dodge at least one. It's mostly crucial when you think you're going to get hit by both, um, use. I'm gonna pop a potion here. It's an assassin you're playing against, so you cannot be too greedy with the potions. Can end up being very punishing. And basically, you just have to, you know, survive because you're going to outscale, obviously. Being on the tower. One more Q, that's huge. Another one. Remember to do the EQ, guys, if you have the opportunity to do so. Windy. Yes. Turning him away from, you know, a lot of minions. Like, establish a bigger lead. Now he is within lethal range, so if I can do an EQ flash. Not stepping up. Saving 
my wind wall for that. Double the shuriken, and there we go. Got a knockup, you see. So when I'm using the range Q, it is when I'm far away so he cannot ult immediately after. See, he appears behind, so that's why I Q behind, and bam, he's out. And we got his ultimate out too. I'm gonna take a plate and then I'll beg off. Right? I think this is not looking good. I kill Jinx. Oh, she's dead. That's a Jinx with six kills. And top lane also losing. So I had no idea how Evelyn is getting back into the game when got destroyed this hard early on. I ult up in 4 seconds, also the plant is here, I'm to engage onto the Evelyn now. Okay, so if I was smart, wait we should take the drake. Why Xiong not taking the drake? Okay, yeah, I guess we just give it then. Not give it, we just um, leave it. Never could stay. I'm gonna push mid here. Zed used his flash. So I actually knew his flash was up, right? So I should have not used my tornado immediately. I should have kept it. Because when you do EQ, they will always flash. If they're within lethal range. Now I'll play it. Just to sun away the cannon. It's risky to do so, but I'm ahead. Evelyn sub now, so I have to be careful. Justice. Careful these chickens don't proc your shield. Seems like they walk further up now. Stay back here because of Evelyn. The way you play against Evelyn is that you have to water jungle camps. After level 6. Oh no, Zed is gonna... Um, You see, I used the Evelyn. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Too many people. Wait, what? Yeah, that was so dumb. This was really dumb. Why is she like trading kills to make Jinx even more fat? And Top is getting demolished? You might think it's looking even, but remember, this guy's playing with Ignite. And he's losing against the Fiora. He's going to outscale like times a million. And Jinx is incredibly fat, but the good thing here is that I can shut it down in a fight. My win wall works against, you know, all of the damage sources. Does not work against Vilkos ultimate though, because it's a laser. I can engage here, because he used this... Um... I can ignite one time again, just to make sure he's... Uh... You know, he doesn't get to W out. Okay, good job, Siren. That's a kill that's insane. Oh, come to me. Why is he running away from me? Bucks. It's the issue with having a complete ca carry team and them having the scaling advantage with the Fiora and... Why do we keep chasing, bro? Just let him die. You can cure these kind of people. Nothing we can do about that one. 
He was warned and he did not listen and then he died. We're going to lose another tower seems like. This type of event you can't do anything about guys, like some games would just be lost no matter what. Especially when our jungle is as terrible as he is, you know, he got the biggest lead and he still died. And Evelyn got back into the game somehow. And we also have the bot lane on the inting spree. Get him Kaiser. Nice. Good. We had to try to do something when we're split pushing, but you know, playing against an Evelyn, people don't really know how to play against her. They just keep getting caught, but we'll try. We'll see what we can do. Can I get this one? I think I'll just sell this so I can get the cloak. Ooh. I don't think I've seen Nidalee hit a single spear, besides that one little... Spear level 1, okay I go mid. Maybe I can get a shot down the Jinx. This. Wait for it to walk up a little further. It's just not walking up. It's 1k shot down, it would be huge if we got it. Shut down. Worth it. Man, that's some ridiculous damage. But I did not have a shot down at least. Lance, OP? Nice, okay. Ooh, if Kaiser has ult and hits a W soon, she doesn't have a dub yet. But that's a huge shot down on the Jinx. Okay. Lots of air ram happening. Why are they walking into the pit? They're like trying to get themselves locked up against. Jinx. Okay, I'm gonna bot now. The Drake is up soon. If we can secure that one, that would be nice, but I doubt it. We'll, we'll see what we can do. We have to try to get the tower or something. The Fiora, you know, something that Yasu cannot deal with most of the time. First, she has that W, which she can use to always plug out the windwall. Uh, not the windwall, I mean the stack Q. So you never get to get a knock up, meaning that you can actually never get an ultimate onto her. I think we are losing the Drake as well. Okay, what? This I'm gonna pick off. Picking up a lot of kills. Well, I can see why they lost now. It's starting to make sense. the flash up I could take him out easily oh she's uh, she's gonna destroy around now two item Fiora Sleep the guiltless. 
that's going to be hard to deal with because we don't really have an answer to that I have to push mid Evelyn might come coming here they are really running it bot lane almost 20 deaths I'm not stepping up here because Evelyn was close we saw her Nice that she is. See the Evelyn now. Going melee range against Evelyn. Doesn't have ults. Unlucky. No one is promised tomorrow. An ally has been slain. Nice. Oh, if I did not use that wind wall, she would probably have gotten the kill and then run out. I think that's what she was trying to do. But they have like two fed hyper carries pretty much, you know, the Fiora split pushing hyper carry and then the ADC. But you know, they are also dying a lot. So that's why I think we still have a chance. Definitely need the shield bow for the burst. We might need to get a wit send as well. Nice. An enemy has been slain. Evelyn is probably going for the yeah, ashes. He's gonna die before I can help. Okay, not bad. Okay, not bad at all. An ally has been slain. Everybody dying, so I had to go mid now. This destroys everything on the map. It's really nice that the um, bone plating doesn't proc with your passive shields. It was really annoying previously, and w what was the reason why you could not? But you could, but you didn't use it on Yasuo because you didn't get the value out of it. It makes it helps a lot against these burst matchups that you actually have this. Russia. King Salt coming in. That's it. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. So Jinx flashes out. That's an important one. Let's see what we can do against the Fiora. Level 14 Fiora with 200 CS. And two huge items. There's also the Triforce. Okay, flashes out is good. It's a smart way to flash out because if she got silenced, you'll be dead no matter what. Why is he not defending his lane? These are the type of players I hit the most, because they single-handedly make the game harder. They force like the wrong player to go and defend, and now I'm not at um, Drake. Yeah, now I also have to die for it. It's really dumb. It's really dumb what the Garen is doing. I can do a lot more around the Drake and he can hold the lane against the Fiora. I should not be there. But this is another thing you see a lot in low is that top laner is so bad. They are so bad. When it comes to playing against the split pusher. Because they just leave the lane and let the enemy to, uh, split pusher take the towers. And then they force the wrong player to go and defend. And especially hard because he's playing with Ignite. So he cannot be 
you know, like getting destroyed in lane with the ignite because that just makes it harder for everyone else. But let's try to focus. Let's doing the Drake. Nice, okay. Hopefully she can secure it and set does not steal. Nice. We should do the uh We should do the Baron for sure. Okay, flashed. Nice. See how I used the win wall previously when I fought the Jinx? That was to lock out the uh, Vilkos. Right, so he could not help in the fight. I do this very often. When you ult somebody, I place a win wall right next to them, so the second player will not be able to help as much. It's gonna allow you to go for these one versus twos, especially when you're playing against, you know, a really fat team. I come here. Nice. Patience. Oh man, another ultimate coming out. Okay, we got four kills, so otherwise this would have meant they would have taken the Baron. Now they cannot take it. So I think the next item I'm gonna go for the gauntlet and then after that I'll get the wit scent. The gauntlet, great against you know the assassin, the Zed, but mainly for the jinx. Nice try, nice try, that was a nice try. Ice is also starting to get items. He's gonna ult. Hopefully she does not die to that ult. Means that you don't recall in the middle of the lane. I think she moved. Let's hope there's not a ward here. So I have the armor here and also for the CC, you know, it makes it harder for, for example, Jinx to escape. After this, the Witsend, most likely. I can also go for Death Stance, but then I don't have any MR. I also get Tenacity from Witsend. That's also a huge plus. I place it here to see the Evelyn. I'm gonna walk away so she cannot. Get the uh, ultimate proc. Now we need to go for the Baron. I kill the Evelyn, that'd be huge. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, good job. We need to go for the Baron, guys. Look at this top laner. Look at this guy. He's completely lost. This is what I meant. He's making it so much riskier for us to take the Baron. I have to win while here just to be safe. This is what I mean with these top laners. You can't really rely on them at any point. But they played the fight well. I have to give them that. So, you see the Iceborne helped a lot, you know, when I just went straight in. It did a ton. Ton of work. You know, the tankiness I get from it, the slow... Everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset here. I'm gonna get some MR. Then we're gonna move towards the Drake that's going to spawn in less than a minute. This is the Infernal one, so it's going to be OP on either side. Garon needs to go top right now. He has the Baron. Look at this guy. Look at the Garon.
Oh, this Karen is so lost on the map. This is the type of play I report no matter what. This is grief. This is not playing bad or anything, this is straight up griefing. Look at this, Spiro lost the entire tower. Look at this, we just lost the tower because it refused to our uh, base. Had to stay top for a while. And against the Fiora, you see, I just stood the corner right here, so that's one vital proc she could not get normally, but I think she still managed to get it because, like, this is too thin to block out that one vital. But if you play against the Fiora, you can just hook the wall, for example, here, and she cannot get that one vital. We have enough for the wit sand. So certainly I do find split pushers difficult to deal with, especially in low ALOS because people don't react to it. You can see this Garen is a prime example of that. He has no clue he had to recall here. If I did not recall, we would have lost the inhibitor. He also lost the tower for no reason. So split pushers, I tend to only ban Master E. But you know, if they have a split pusher and you have a Garen or something, I know it's going to be a rough game. Or if you know you have a Shen and they have a split pusher, same thing. It makes it really hard. Isa is going top, I think I need to help her. There's no way she's gonna one versus one the Fiora. If we can try to stop her. Coming for the last hit, while he felt the ignite and everything else. Let's go, we got the Fiora. You see how tanky she is. We even struggled chasing her with the ice pawn, and we still lost one player in a 1 versus 2. Never could stay in one place. And I had to flash for it. Not heavy. That was. I don't see, I have no idea. Dora is gonna split push again, so we need to deal with her. We have no choice. We look at how fast she's taking out the towers. She might just go bot now, actually. So what we should do is that we just send our players. So that's to ignite, I think. Yeah, nice, but they should be able to uh, get something now. I hope if they can enter the fight, they can't. They can't. Tyra does not have Rylas yet. It's going to be really OP once she does. There's a lot of trading kills back and forth. I think in this case it's worth it because Jinx is full build, so there's nothing else she can buy, while Kaiser can still buy one more item. So if we die here, it might be over because they get Baron and then Fiora will Baron split pushing. It's um, not good. If she camps in this right here, that would actually be the right choice. Then she can take out the Evelyn. But they are stepping up and Evelyn has Banshees. Follow the 
What are these guys doing? Uh, it makes no sense why they would be there. Like, it makes no sense. There's not one possible reason I could think as to why they would be there. See if I can catch the Velkos or somebody. I probably can. They're grouping up. I think we just go for the Drake. Oh, what? What? Why would she be there? Kaisa. Why would the Evelyn be here? That makes no sense. She could have taken the Drake and then she go for the Baron. That makes no sense what she did. That's why I did not expect this. He had the Drake and then the Baron. Okay, I mean it worked out. Looks like it's TG's. I mean they have 14, 17, 18 there, so that's a typical solo queue game. Also nearly is like a only high low champ. The people can't play it here. Oh, GG's. Welcome to the next game. It's a Katarina and the Tamkin's jungle. That is not something I have seen this entire season. And I actually don't think I've seen it last season either. That's going to be interesting. I guess if he wants to jungle, he has to get Tiamat or something. Some sort of Bruiser build so he can wave clear. Let's hope she's not getting spotted. That's Arena. No, against when you play against the Cat's Arena, it's all about these daggers on the ground. That's where most of her damage is at. And with the mobility you have, you should not be getting hit most of the time. Sometimes, of course, you can't help it. But you know, you have a minion wave. And another thing here is that if you are right next to her and use the wind wall, that's a gap between you and the wind wall. So if she ults, she's going to like be inside the wind wall. So make sure that you either dash through her and then use the wind wall or walk further away and then use it. This is what you have to dodge right here. Rina with Electrocute as well. Minion. Have to be careful of, you know, the um, daggers on the ground mainly. What's wrong with this guy? Like this. And your wind wall, of course, can block out the Q as well as the ultimate. I'm missing a lot of Qs. Yeah. You know, Yone struggles a lot in this matchup, but Yasuo... Yasuo is okay. Like, it should be pretty easy to make work as long as you play around the daggers on the ground. So when she's placing those behind you, you want to run in the opposite direction. Get a kill on Amkenj. And stay here, just a bait. Nice. He's playing with Flash. It's not every Katarina player that has Flash, but you see, this is what I do a lot, you know, faking drums. Even though I'm not roaming, 
You can do this only if you're stronger than the enemy mid, of course. Otherwise, it's pretty uh, grief. The recourse is fine. Just want to make sure she's not trying to um, gank the Evelyn. Okay, she wants help, so I had to push. Okay, we are not fighting this. We don't have our ADC, our support. He's gonna become so mad because our Lane did not move. Okay, she survived better than uh, nothing. It's crazy though that she's trying to go for both of these skull crabs, especially when it's Evelyn because she's really weak early on. Just how the champ is. I keep pushing here. If she resets, it's fine. The bot lane should have moved. That's some range, lol. That was some range on that jump. Wow, I did not expect that. Okay, bot lane got some kills. Hopefully that helps with the scaling part. Good hit. He's within lethal range actually. Oof. Just got level 6. Am I kidding level 6? Okay, there we go. Lol, okay. I'll back off here. I don't want to risk dying. Okay, I have my passive shield up. I think I can stay. Yeah, I can stay. Wants to dive, seems like. I don't think she can unless she has somebody coming. Let's back off here. Nope. She stays, I'm staying too. Remember, you want to be careful using um, your uh, what's it called? Your stack Q. I don't know what this guy is doing. When she has a E up, it's like similar to when you're playing against that. Because if you do that, you're going to get punished big time. So keep your stack Q and wait until Katarina, you know, use the E. And also be sure that she did not get the reset on the E. This is some low elo uh, rage for no reason. It's just being delusional pretty much, thinking that the jungler can get everything. It's like they completely forget about the lane and think that the laners can just move whenever they want to. It's not how it works. She has, okay, she has some burst. I don't see Tam Kench. Have a potion. Evelyn's level 6. That's good, she's slow. Lin has ultimate up. Now 
Sasha, right? Okay. He did not have to use the flash. Ooh, okay. I mean, she's losing a lot mid, so I guess that's fine. As long as Aeolian does not die. Oh, we had to move again. Don't have to queue. Well, when they just try to sidestep like this, you know, they're just slowing themselves down. You don't have to queue, you can just hold it. And if you want, you can just queue at the end. I'm gonna reset, I think she's gonna pick up this way, right? So I'm gonna reset now. She has not gotten anything, and that's important. As Serena is all about snowballing early on. If she doesn't get to snowball, she's going to fall off. Typically I do get, you know, a lot more kills against the Cats Arena, but it really depends on who you're playing against and stuff. Might be a kill on the Cats Arena, let's see. Let's see. Well, this guy is really disgusting. Low elo syndrome. Just gotta ignore it. We'll take the win and then we'll move on. The thing is, it's not even worth reporting because Riot doesn't do anything. They are never gonna bend this. That's a walk away in case I get all set. I'm not under the tower. Bro, what is. Some long duration on that one. That's some next level duration on that ult. That was a minion wave, so we okay. It's just top, so we're just gonna push. Keep pushing. Getting another plate here. Bro, why is this guy... He should not be mid right now. I mean, I guess he's defending for the cat's arena. We just keep pushing. Is the Yorick defending or what? Gonna place a ward here, then we reset. So the CS lead is not that big, it would have been way bigger, but of course Evelyn has been like stealing away a lot of CS. This what it is. We have gotten multiple plates though, and then we also have a kill and some assists, so we do have a pretty substantial lead. But and they're running straight towards her. The road to ruin is shorter than you think. Seems like this is what it. I'm gonna take this and then I'll go back to uh, farming. We just keep up, you know, with the uh, CS lead. She's roaming a lot, and when you do this, it means that you're going to lose a lot of XP. And also gold in this case. You see, when she is forward like this, guys, without getting a reset. 
That's when you can run in and trade against her. You can actually all in her too. Because she won't be mobile for a while. Wait, what? Wait, what? What have? How did that happen? Did he ult? Looked like he teleported in or something. I don't know how what that have, what happened there. That's a bit strange. Your team has set. Goodbye, Evelyn. She's gonna get destroyed by Katarina. So I just keep pushing. Oh, because Tom Kent is here. Why is Tom Kent here? We'll get this tower on the next push. Gonna get a Dragon Slayer. Gonna get an Oracle Lens. Alright, let's go. He got a shot down, he's gonna have a bunch of stacks on the Dark Seal. Maybe she even upgraded that one, who knows, but I think it's probably tier 2 boots. We don't see people here, so it's risky to just engage straight up. I'm just gonna wait a bit. Barris has to play with the Drone King, so he... One is two, easy money. Gonna get the tower. Is Tom Kench? Oh, it's the Yorick. Oh, okay. Not much I could do there. Jax is getting objectives, and he's sincerely fed as well. Oh, did he try to jump over? I don't think that's possible. He can do from here to here, that's possible, but I think that's a bit too... Uh, maybe it is. Maybe he can, actually, if it's like a bit closer. I don't know. Now I can go to the silence, and now is when we will start having fun. Katrina died, so her stacks are gone too. Barrow's still going bot, okay. We could take him out. Then we have to make sure there's no wards around there. Is that okay? Three wards. Normally, you need to attack, you know, the um, standard ward first. When your sweeper is up. But we have enough attack speed to take out everything at once. They're doing the Herald, so I need to be a bit careful. Never gets any Since we don't see Tom Kench yet, if we see him topside, then we can keep pushing up. He has been hovering around me uh, most of this game, so... Could definitely be at the red or something, so we'll just wait. Be patient. Okay, we see Tam Kench. That's Rina mid. My honor left a long time ago. That's Rina's going top, so I'm just gonna push. I think they are dead here, right? Ash is toast. Sleep. 
Jax is too fit. Man, this Sunder Sky item feels really OP. It hits for a ton of damage. That's Serena still chasing. I'm just gonna keep pushing. Get a tower. Right. And Infinity Edge once again. Next item, you know, you could get something like an Iceborne. But a thing against this comp is fine to just go straight for Shield Bow. They don't have a ton of burst damage. It's only the Cat's Arena. The Varus is someone I can easily block out with a Wind Wall. We just continue the side laning adventure. It's so much damage, man. Sheen proc as well as Sundered Sky. Oh, that's the Tilter. Someone who should not be playing a lot. Very weak mental. not get to all sadly let the flash out that's arena I think it's because of the charm on the uh, what's it called Rakana maybe it was to knock up I could not ult otherwise maybe I could have gotten him maybe not In this case, it's a good thing that we have the strongest split push-up because as you saw, you know, in the game against the Fiora, if you watch that one, if you don't have an answer to that split push-up, they're just gonna destroy every tower. Everything is just going down straight up. I'm gonna answer him here. Brutalizer and Hydra. You see, just the FK split pushing over and over. That's all they do. The disgusting thing is how fast they take out the towers. I'm just gonna stay in the silence and then answer his um, FK pushing. But don't get me wrong, I would be doing the same thing if I was playing, you know, Trondle or Yorick. Staying in the silence and destroying towers because people don't react to it fast enough. You just need to be 5 seconds too late and the tower's gone. And dash over here. It's just death. Nothing serious. They're not coming. Waiting for the Varus to walk up, but he's not. Take this one. I have to check if Katrina was free calling. Sometimes they do that. And then it's a free kill, of course. <laughs> this story is nice. Whole squad is here. I think I stay, I can't afford Chill Bow yet. The sword's poor company for a long road. <laughs> Riberoni's checks. Now mid door, no? Probably not, won't get it in time. Now we can get the Chill Bow. After this, I'll probably get Witch Send is fine, but probably I spawn way better. Follow the wind, but watch it back. 
Maybe it's faster if Jax TPs. Okay, the tower. But it sucks for me if he TPs, then I lose the wave. Let's take the Baron. Baron. You just have to watch out for the Tam Kench. I think was that the Katarina bot side? Oh, we are doing this one so fast. Jack shredding it. Yasuo shredding with the crits. And then Evelyn also bursting. I have to watch out for the Katarina. Going back to Silent here. We can push up several waves. If you only push up one wave, it can be a bit difficult to uh, get some objectives. But this way, we are forcing one to come bot and then one to some to go mid. And when Jack starts pushing top, somebody also has to go top. Don't just insta clear the wave, remember to stack up your Q. Really important. Not all in, in yet. Working a bit. I have the wind wall in case somebody needs it from the Varus mainly. Oh, oh, what happened here? Whoops. I think I accidentally clicked over here. But what was that? That was even worse. I don't have wind mouse, so I have to be a little bit careful. Because of our assaults. Okay, that was a waste of win roll. And we just keep up the pressure. Don't have to recall, that's the good thing when you ha actually have life steal. Some people just skip the shield ball going to Iceborne, which is also fine, but then you don't have any sustain. We just let the minions do the thing. I'm gonna stay back and take up the Q. Try to go for the virus. GG's for this game, and that's how to play against the Cats Arena. Victory. Next game it is, and now we're playing against the Multihearts. So they have this annoying point and click CC on their team, and actually two gems have that. Auric has his ultimate, which is a suppression, and the Multihearts ultimate. They also have some annoying CC on the Cho'Gath, so QSS will be a must have this game. If you don't have this, you just get focused every single fight. He has a cleanse, I guess that's for the uh, Lily Owls. Maybe also Sarah Root. I think it's kind of a waste going cleanse here, but it is what it is. In this matchup, um, Malta very passive champ in the laning phase, right? It's like a sort of like a Lissandra. Gets level 6 and then he sets up kills for his jungler or other allies. 
And against the Malzaha, what's important is that you want to focus down the small Voidlings. Uh, because if you destroy the Voidlings, he has no way clear. They are the ones who are dealing a ton of damage to the minions. And before you go all in, of course, you want to be taking out his passive shield. And it's like Garen, but you want to keep his shield down. So you want to like walk in and out. So they have a Warwick jungle. He's gonna get some bonus move speed if I ever get to low HP. He is me, that's fine. When he spawns the Void Links, you just want to take these out. And the good thing is that you destroy them pretty fast. And you can of course also use them to dash too. Of some extra mobility. And your wind wall is pretty much useless against the Malzahar, so actually you don't have to skill it. I just did it because um, of muscle memory, I guess. He's playing with CP, it's about time we place a ward here. He just won EQ and the minions are gone, right? And then it's going to take ages for him to be able to clear out. And he's just gonna TP back. So if we can actually fix the wave, you know, have it push a little bit, we might even be able to look for a kill, who knows? That's how you see the minions are gone. There you go. Q flash, guys. Don't flash in Q, but press Q and then flash. It's a lot faster. And harder to wreck to. I think I'll take out these foilings too. The cannon wave such good, it's gonna take a little while to push, and even if he gets to push it relatively fast, it's still going to take a while uh, because the cannon minion will be tanking a lot of tower shots. That's why you want to base on a cannon wave. Perfect, you know, recall sort of. Of course, it would have been better if you got the Berserkers, but the main thing here is that we got to spend all of our gold. So we're not sitting on like 150 gold or 200 gold. Fan pinging his flash summoner. I always do this because sometimes your jungler teammates don't see that they use the flash if you do it this way much higher chance of them you know doing something about it okay what lane snowballing take out the small white links just be careful that his E does not, you know, transfer to you. So stay away from minions that are low HP. Take out the shield, as always. Just EQ and this, the Voidlings will be gone. And then the damage to the minions will also be gone. And if he gets to, you know, ults, or hit you with a Q while you are hit by his E, it's going to refresh it. Keep that in mind. We can get multiple E procs with his other abilities. Wait, what? He did not get knocked up? Did he cancel it with my... Uh... I tried to uh, go for the Malsaha. I tried to uh, knock up the Warwick and the Malsaha, but he flashed and then confused me. Good move by Lilia. I'm confused why Warwick did not get uh, knocked up. Because he becomes unstoppable when he's doing that combo. Holding down his Q, but he did not transfer behind me, so I think... I don't know what happened. Masa's ultimate is up, so now is when you have to watch out. If you don't know where the enemy jungle is at, just be careful. Because you'll most likely get ganked. Yeah. 
Pretty easy to clear out the small void links. And if he spawns these small void links while he's running away, then of course you get more targets that you can dash to. He has mana for an ult. I don't want to stay too close, but I also know his flash is down. He is getting closer to lethal range. Remember, the moment you come out of your ultimate, he's going to ult and then you're going to be stuck. So, better to just up the jungle here and then we can back off after. We can ignite him, he does not have flash up. For a moment I thought he was going to lock me up inside that thing, but I think it does not lock allies. All the enemies, I assume. Okay, he based that thing. I'm gonna place a ward here and then we'll reset. Remember, this ward is if you get to recall later than the opponent, meaning they'll get into the lane before you, so you want to see what they're doing after they shout this wave, and then you can warn your teammates accordingly. Same items. You know, in games where you have to get the QSS, you don't want to get it too early on, if you do so you have no damage, so wait until you have at least one completed item, like the Kraken Slayer. The wind. Excluding the boots, they don't count. So you need to have the boots and one complete item. Are they doing the drake? Yana is moving towards it, looks like they might be. An ult me, it's fine. Fine, good move by the Lilia. And also ignited the Warwick because of his healing. So now in case he had his ultimate up or something, he would not heal. Or as much with my Knight Proct. But this matchup is relatively simple. All you have to watch out for is of course the ultimate. And when you have QSS, it's a lot easier to do so. We will back off. Top lane struggling. Okay, so he's going full AP. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. The bad thing is that uh, if you get hit by a Q, you just get one shot. But once we get some MR, you will get, you know, destroyed pretty fast. Tank Jogath can tank for a while. AP Jogath won't be able to. He just has burst. But it makes my MR items even better, since he's also going... I sure I should have let the minions take out this tower plate here. Um, so Malzahar does not get it. Also, if you get knocked up like this, guys, while using your Q, your Q can get cancelled. I think a lot of people don't know this. Yes, ready to go. Oh, oh, okay, I'm dead. I am so dead. I am so dead. My bad. Oh, I think Warwick. I actually don't remember if Warwick ults it. I don't. Probably didn't. For Warwick, you need some anti-healing, especially if he's going for 
the lethal tempo build because he heals for a ton when you get to low hp he gets a lot of auto attack the um, attack speed i mean and he also heals for a ton but since we do have ignite as a summoner spell we don't need to get anti-healing yet and you prefer to have your adc or like your mage build it so like sarah that would be nice so now I'm gonna buy the QSS. But the first core item. Legendary. Legendary. Well, I don't know, it feels like I'm lacking a bit. I don't know why. What's happening? We'll go back to mid. Remember, uh, target champions only. There's a Warwick here. Target champions only allows you to get very close to the monster camps. Close enough so you can eat through them, like dash through them. Like I did at the crux. Not gonna ult yet. Only when he's, you know, within lethal range where I can finish him off in a combo. Am I gonna die? Oh my days, bro. This item is so broken, that's unreal. Man, that's insane. He never has this damage early on, Malsahar. This item is actually insane, what? You have, you have low cooldown on your ultimate and then... The ultimate also deals this extra damage while also reducing my MR. And because you don't have MR in the runes anymore, like he's going to deal so much free damage. No one. That's actually broken, what? Man, this is insane. It's like a perfect item for Masa too, and then he also gets Lyandris and he's gonna just burn everything. Yeah, we need the QSS. You saw what happened. I think it's probably no point even like pinging his ultimate. Early on is okay, but later on it's going to be on such a low cooldown. So, most of us, me and the Sire, need QSS. attack okay they need help i to take the long way around I don't want to get myself flanked oh what he always is gonna die regardless okay nice who I saw here? I think I saw somebody, no? That's a Lucian. Okay, so now we can afford the QSS. So you're not gonna operate the QSS, you're just gonna have the QSS for the active only and then you just continue with the normal build. Meaning good stuff like the Infinity Edge. And other items like that. Heal bow. We'll take out this tower next turn. Don't want to mess up my reset timer. Alrighty, we have the QSS now. It's gonna help against Malsa ults. Gonna help against Warwick ults. And also Choga silence if we do get silence somehow. I'll go bot. Also, one thing is that if you use your QSS while Masa is ulting you, his ultimate will still go on. You have to walk out of range before it like clears out, but it gives you time to, you know, to see, see him. What it here. QSS. That's all. That's the reason you're buying it. 
And he for sure did not see I had this item. That's why if I did not have it, he could probably kill me. Because this item is a bit broken. Well, my ADC. Also, if they have something like a Lissandra, and they also have some heavy CC in the jungle and somewhere else, then you can still go for QSS. You don't buy it only because they have suppression, like Malta's ults. You buy it if they have a ton of CC that could mess you up in a fight. But if you get caught by that easy to hit CC, you just end up getting melted. 30 seconds on this one. It's gonna give me some time to reset and get a B of sort. And then we just repeat. So uh, they are both sitting on massive shot. Ooh, that's a nice horse. Unlucky, unlucky side did not have E yet. Almost. Okay, I have to go mid. Sire so set. I'll go mid, I'll go mid. A lot of shutdowns. Ton of shutdowns. I'll try to uh, sidestep. I don't have to, you see, it's the thing here is that when your tornado is stacked up, these guys will be like trying to constantly sidestep, outplaying themselves. So I just keep the Q, I don't use it, and then just keep auto attacking. Because they constantly try to sidestep, meaning that they will not be walking away from me. So I'll just be within auto attack range. Right. I have a rip buff, and even more importantly, I have the Infinity Edge. Once I reset. A lot of damage from the Syra. That's up. Alrighty, next item is going to be the shield bow, as per usual. Or actually I think I might go for Witsend. Because they technically have 3 AP. Warwick. Does a ton of magic damage with his auto attacks and his Q. I think his ultimate as well. And full AP Chogath. Masahar. Full send is gonna help me survive and not get one shot. That is going to be the next item. Maybe. We'll see. I like to have some lifesteal too. Coming from this way. Here, okay. Not ulting. They took down the Baron so fast. They can also go for the Drake. Just keep this way buffed up. Wait, they should be going for the Drake. Okay, let's take out the Vision. And probably with the red buff too. If we can get it before Warry comes. He might come straight for the red buff just because the Drake is gone anyways. So, in this case, you want to pull it into the brush. Just so they cannot see you doing it. Blessed Shogath. I wonder if he can watch. I actually think he can. That's that's insane amount of burst damage he has right here. I think actually he can delete me pretty fast. You calling? Might be in the brush, in that case I'm not going to check. Because I would just be making it easy if I'm- oh there he is. Okay. 
Okay, he missed his ults. Alright, let's back off. You know what? We'll get shield bow and then we get good scent. It's a bit greedy, but I like to have the life still. This is going to be insane damage now, you see, burning max health. And then you also have this. Like these two items together is so broken, man. This item alone is pretty disgusting too. Yeah, three drakes. I should think we can go mid. No, my Lucian's gonna clear out the wave. I'm gonna push a wave both side. Lucian and Masa are together. We don't have anything to deal with that when they're under the tower. It's a lot safer that me and Yorick push in waves each. And then we split them up. So they can focus all of their wave play in one lane. It's what you do if they have like some really good work clear. For example, if they had a Nivea or a Caitlyn, this is what you would do. Bro, that Q alone is dealing so much damage. I was there, so I wanted to take at least one with me. Yeah, that's some. Uh, that's why I should probably have went for Wit Scent. He can like one shot all of us here. Two guys. It ults. But you know what? It might actually be up again. Who knows? Oh, rest gone. They gonna chase him all the way. She was the one who also gave him bonus moon speed, I think. We are certainly getting a lot of attack speed. When you also get the wit scent, you also have the kraken. Ooh. Is unstoppable. Thatch. So we have, you know, obviously the ones we want to be focusing, Lucian and the Masa, right? Probably the um, Lucian. Because Masa mainly just sets up his team. While Lucian brings all the DPS and he's getting pretty fat, so... We take out the Lucian and then we're good to go. Don't- oh man, I hate when they pop this one. Luckily Walric did not see it. And he also ulted, okay that's good. I want to dash so well. I'm gonna push the mid wave, so the super wave pushes in a bit faster. I want to make sure Masa cannot clear it instantly. Or I can try to have them chase me. Okay, they're up here. Looks like that Drake is pretty secure. Wait, we don't see Warwick. He be behind. I see that smart. We still don't see him. I don't know what- oh, there he is. Turns out he's not that smart after all. Yeah, I cannot take that way. I have to take the long way around. And also not take that way because of Chogath. I get CC. I get hit by a Q and then I just die. Are they collapsing on Yorick? And I push in mid. Seems like they have not noticed that Baron attempt. Nice. 
It is a bit risky to do against the Cho'gath because it can just ult, you know, and wipe it out. Oh, we fine, we fine. Now we just gotta make it hit over here, get a tower. Ooh. Oh, that ults. Oh, whoa, okay, yeah. A lot of heavy damage coming in. And that's him, okay, nice. We got one tower. Oh, Syrah is um, really big time limit testing. Is he gonna chase the Siren? Does have my dice. Oh, what? Oh, my days, bro. That's a bit too ham. That's a bit too ham. Need a little bit less than 500 gold, and we'll have the wit sent. And then you need some HP item after. Good uh, damage coming out from the Sire, as well as the Lilia with the E poke. Need to like hit my Qs on these Voidlings. Yorick is pushing in now. Ooh, nice one. Also really difficult for them to play against a Syrah poke and Sire constantly poking. Oh. Maybe it's the skin that looks like she's ulting in the opposite direction. I don't know. But GG's, that's it for this game and how to play against a Malsaha. Let's go, let's go. New matchup and it is the way. And they have a Vi jungle. This is probably what you have to be uh, careful about. Especially after she gets level 6. Otherwise it's looking pretty decent for us. Our win wall is going to do so much work against their comp. Seems like we are going to invade. We have a Camille support. And we have Taldea in the jungle. So we have a little bit of synergy but not very good honestly. Gonna die? Unlike him. I used to ignite and they also flash for it, but no, 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 bro. What is that? What is that? I might flash. I'm gonna walk towards her, bro. These players. I can already tell it's a pretty special player on the support role. Quite the special breed. Okay, wave the matchup. He pokes a lot early on. In this case, we, um, you know, he has the Q start. So he has some heavy poke in level 1. So you want to stay, you you know, his Q is AoE. But you want, so it means that you want to stay a bit further behind. Because if you stay close to the minions, it's not going to body block. You still get hit by the AoE damage. Okay, this one. And if he hits two abilities, then he's going to practice passive. So if you're going to get hit, at least, you know, make sure you're dodging one of them. And this is his um, wave clearing ability. You want to save your wind wall for this. Um, his CC stuff. Yeah. 
mill wants to come or so you get hit by two abilities then this passive rocks it flashes out we will be needing the wind wall too why could be here based on how he's moving I should definitely get a ward over here but since I don't have any vision of why it's risky to uh, walk up now we see him right I'm aiming the Q you know thinking that he might sidestep but he's not Nice. Anna Smith. Hopefully, hopefully Vi is not here. I have Ignite up soon, but Janna could still be around. Yes. He's gonna die too. Nice, good job, good counter gank by the Talia. So the main thing about Wei is that you know he has a ton of abilities. What you have to know is that you know he has no mobility. He has a lot of abilities, you know, he can peel himself, deal a ton of AoE damage, but he has no mobility. No dashes, no blinks, no nothing. The only thing he has is like bonus moon speed. So when it comes to your win wall, what you want to block out is a self peel, you know, the abilities that are going to fear a CCU. Because if you block that out, then he cannot, you know, protect himself. So you can just keep running him down. So it doesn't matter that you're going to like tank that one initial burst ability. And then, of course, after level 6, you want to use the Wind Wall for his ultimate. Instead, it's also a projectile, meaning that you can easily block it out. The Yasuo wind wall is insane against their comp. This one is going to CC you if you walk into the zone. No one is promised tomorrow. Seems like he knows. I think that's a ward here. That's a ward. Right, she's getting a win wall because she uh, did some decent damage. Just so she doesn't take too much damage because it's going to mess up for our oh, ADC. Right, we got level 6. I took the Drake, but she's not level 6 yet, so we can um, run towards the Talia if she's coming. I don't think she will, but if she is... As long as you don't get procced, you know, his passive should be fine you should be fine because he loses you know he doesn't get to proc his total damage um, if you keep getting hit by two abilities that's why the damage you know starts stacking up oh no bro I deserve to be bent I deserve to be perma bent oh my days was my ignite off or was it on cooldown? Oh my days. I honestly deserve a perma ban after this. Yikes. Okay, free kill. Oh, that's even better. That's way better. Rip ADC. 
think we can just keep the wave over here. That's a fat gin. That's a good shot down that I can take, hopefully. If Talia hits them with the ult, you know, the displacement, you can also use your ultimate off of, the, off of that, by the way. Because it's friendly displacement. Also remember, he has that one long range ability in this one, and it comes out pretty fast. It comes out really fast. We see why it's upside. I should probably get some vision uh, bot side here because of Janna. Let's show this out before Janna and Vi comes mid. Might be over here. Oh, she's so dead. Flashed. Wonder if she ults it. Bro, it's what, what, what are you doing? You wanna go 2 vs 4? Kale's also going to be there soon. Bro, how am I missing everything? What? Maybe um, I lost my mental after I missed the Q over here. Hello, KCS. But I got blasted. Oh, it's the Vi. I'm not sure where the damage is coming from though. Did she really get to auto attack that much? Because the Vey had no flash up, so I thought I could go for this. I think he's actually griefing the uh, Kaisers lane because he's doing nothing with his roams and just dying. He has no assist, no nothing. Okay, let's give it another try. Could try to roam. But they already took the Jin shot down. I think it was Titalia. They might actually be doing the Herald. The White Crumbs. She has ult. She has ult. Why not ulting? You can ult to lock them out. Actually, all of them had their flashes up. Nice. I'm gonna help a little bit and I go back mid. That's a good shot down. He's gonna agree it for the cannon, right? Got a little bit of XP. I think this is what happens when it's your first game of the day. New day, okay. So maybe Vi could be here. I don't have all up yet. This is, is the fear thing you have to be really careful about. But then if you win all that, you have nothing for results.
we get it? So oh, many flashes, okay. That's good for our um Ali. Walk back a bit, so you could still be around here. Zero five zero. Not a single assist. This is what you can do, see? The moment you engage with your E, if you get to fear you like this, you will not be able to re-engage. Rip, Talia. Oh, it's always a mistake they try to go for the edge. The very last shot. They always aim it right there. Okay, we have to take one more wave. One one ten support, and we have the zero five zero. We have old, by the way. Nice. Good, good, good. He got the first assist. Let's go. Also got a kill after a long time. And we got his flash out, so we can take advantage of that, but... So the problem here is that... This item is ridiculous, especially on buy. Because she already has a lot, a lot of burst damage and now it also becomes a massive crit. So she's going to straight all of us if she gets within range. Alea though is good with the E, but it does not help against Vice Holds. He becomes unstoppable. What over here? I used the wind wall just because I thought he would use his wave clearing ability, he did not. Our players have to be really careful. Does he want the red? Take it. Take it. And ping his flash. Because Talia has ult. Win wall, it's the key. It's the key, especially in this matchup. But remember to place it fast. Get to fear you, it's going to last a decent while, and then you don't get to engage onto him afterwards. You saw what happened early on when I tried to engage. Okay, she might be up there. I can't even push, so I think I just go ahead and reset so I can come back with a BF sword. This bottling is certainly making things pretty rough. But I don't think it's the Kaiser's fault, it's the Camille for sure. No doubt about that one. So I cannot ult here. If for example Talia lands a W and I ult the Vi, she's going to ult me after and then I'm out. Okay, what is this guy doing? Ooh, nice! I'm not going to die for this. Please survive. That's the Jin's W. Okay, really nice steal. I don't know how that worked out, but it did. That actually did, and that's insane. Dying's the easy part. We just need the tower to go down. What side? Or we can also rotate right now, but it's a lot better for me if the tower goes down, because then I can chase. I could be mid. 
Okay, she's spawned now. We'll see her. Oh man, why do they have so many sums up all the time? It's insane. They used everything. Well, they can hold mid. Flash, heal, and ults. Oh, that's a nice one. Well, is so good against champs that rely on dashing in. No ultimate on the Akali yet, so she will not be able to chase, unfortunately. We're gonna wait a bit for the cloak. Right, so maybe QSS, you know, it would be nice if they had other champs with a lot of CC, but they don't. So if I buy QSS, it's pretty much only going to be for his fear, and it's not worth it. I have to clear this and then I'll go top. I'll go in bot though. This whole buy is not here. Oh, she is. No, 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 bro, what? Level 8 Camille thing we can win 2 versus 2 against the fit Vi. Well, here comes. That's a different thing. I lose vision. Maybe I should just hold it away. Can I see right? There she is. It's okay, no alt on the buy. Still deals a lot of damage if you get hit by one Q. But this is probably what we have to do to win, is that we try to win through split pushing and then we have the long range ultimate with the Talia. Yeah, I should probably stay until I can afford. Item is too big of a spike. Oh, Satch, Satch, Satch. Okay, she's going to die at least. I am more extending quite a bit, guys. So I'm actually playing pretty awful this game. I don't think they're doing it, but I feel like they can still. Seems like they're not. Okay, that's fine. Good, good. I just want them to check just to be safe. Because they were really low HP. You never know. Yeah, why ultimate's down? Ooh. Point and click. CC is so OP, always. But everything is out from the gen. Hanging myself so they know I'm not here, hopefully. Probably just gonna, not gonna care, anyways. Nice, good job. We'll play it. We have to secure the Drake. He'll stop. Okay, good job. Did a good play on the way. No contesting the Drake for these guys. We need some vision on the Baron though. I can't ping because uh Sleep for the guiltless. Oh they could actually be doing Baron right now. 
I could be doing that pretty easily with a kill. That's a TP coming in, so that's a bit... Uh, that's good for me. He's probably going to place a knee right here. There it is. I can just wait a bit and I don't want to overextend here if I get also by the wire just die only because she's really fat if she was like you know one one two or something I could try to go for the fight but when she's fat don't even think about it Yasuo's too squishy right now oh no okay we have to pull the Baron Way is not there. Is he out? That's good. Bailing. The actual bailing. Nice. So, oh, we're just gonna let them do Baron or what? Look at this, it's a free kill on the Jin. Nice, finally. We had we had to take a fight. I got caught over here, but if you don't take this fight, it's a free Baron. Now now they can contest. Oh, ADC is a bit lost. ADC is really lost. They can't do this alone. Good, good, good. That's fine. They're stalling. Oh, that one missed. But good ults. Now Camille is doing a lot due to her ultimate. Okay, Janus actually uh, playing pretty well if that's intentional. Like, Kale is still on 6, but when she gets level 16, it's going to be really tough regardless of how many deaths she has. We actually like to secure the soul and then try to end it fast before the OP team fighting starts, you know, with the kill ult. Followed by the buy engage. He just becomes unkillable while one shotting somebody. I saw uh, Jong -woo dying on cooldown. Question mark? Bro, that champ is so fast. What man? 554 moon speed. Luckily, I have sustain so I can heal up from the wave. That's what I should be doing. I want to do the Baron. Now I should walk back again. Just to waste the time. Oh man, sucks. Really sucks, they can just run us down on repeat. We had nothing to answer that, that's our problem with this comp. Look at our team. It's complete random and they actually have a decent comp. They have a Janna support, they have killed top. We had nothing. It's complete random comp, but this is a good... Indication of what Soul Q looks like. Yeah, we should take the Drake. But they probably, you know, they're gonna take the Baron before the Drake spawns and then move towards it. But they should camp. For example, they camp here, right? And they burst two or three players down and then we can make it to the Drake. They should camp. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that is so dumb. This is so dumb. And she didn't use the W. Working out. Of course it's not this. Kill. Broken stuff. I think we just give this one up. 
Maybe Talia can do some magic again. Do we sacrifice? Do we try? Hill is not here. Oh, we actually got it. Wow. Okay. They actually just gave it up. What? Yeah, nice. That's huge. So now we just have to wait out the Baron. I think these team fights are going to be insanely hard to play if they group up. They have ridiculous AoE. Going to become unkillable with the K ults, and then Vi ult is probably just going to be on me all the time. Actually, yes, we want to be spit pushing, but if somebody keeps getting caught, like me, I got caught several times, then it's going to uh, really hard, yes. Let's hope. Akali can maybe, uh, something. In the side lanes? Oh, are they chasing? Let's push mid. We have to push mid. Oh, well, they're sending so many people, but... Oh, what? What? Now it's too late. They can run up here, but you know, if I ult, they're gonna die, guys. Wait, what? What is Talia doing? What is this guy doing? You're not coming mid and you're not bot. They're gonna give up a tower? Talia, hello? Man, if I did not recall, that tower would go down. Probably still is. No, don't just shove. Ooh, okay. Okay, that was insane. That was actually insane. But I was trying to say, don't just shove in one wave and then go back to your teammates. Because if the split pusher stays, they're going to use the second wave. I want to try to push in two waves. Okay, what? But I don't know what happened, but I think Talia got an insane combo off. Are they gonna not take the uh, tower? Okay, nice. Now back off. I don't not be able to base here, but that was huge. Talia actually just saved our game. I need MR and I also need armor. They can block out the magic damage, but the physical damage is going to be hard. Because it's point and click with the Vi. So I'm going to start with the Ice Spawn. And then we probably go into the Wit Sand. You could also go Distance. I think the um, CC you also get with the Ice Spawn, you know, the slow, can be useful against their comp, which kites a lot. With the kill, with the way, with the gin, you know, that slow can certainly help. Let's see if I can catch a sister of 16. Oh no. Oh no. Might come here to ward or no? Not yet. Baron spawning soon. It's a problem for us if they group up. It's definitely a problem. So we have to rely on some uh, insane, you know, combo from Talia again. She's not pushing. She's just staying, but it's an advantage because he has TP, so it's smart what she's doing. I'm gonna push it further.
This is to stop her from just, you know, shoving and then into our tower. She might still be here, she is. What here? Yeah. Okay, nice flash, so that's perfect. So they're chasing our... Hale, uh, Kali. Got the flash out, that's pretty huge. I hope they do the Baron. I'm gonna win wall if Kale is here because we really want the tower. Okay, that's really important. Damn. I thought maybe we could get one tower. But uh, Jin is down and his flash is out. So we can still do something next fight even though they have the Baron. That's a ping. No flash on Kale. Why can- oh my god, Riot Games, please. Riot Games! I will not forget who I am. Oh, such. Maybe it's for the good, uh, for the best that we did not make that work. I had to, I had to wait, because they can turn on me. Now I don't have windmall guys. In this up. Because they want to be forcing it since they have the Baron. Gonna stack up the Q. Do we not have any vision on this? Okay, they're not doing it. But it saved us some time because we got the Jin mid lane. And also his GS out, that's even better. Okay, that's a good one. Everybody dead? Oh no. Oh no. We only got the kill. The rest of our team died. Sucks, man. Okay. Little Drake is down on one. Jin once again. Alright, let's back off here. We have the ice spawn. Now we have to wait once again. Need some MR for sure. Way is really fed too, and he's you know into the late game. I have to win wall, you know. I have to make a perfect win wall that blocks out the kill as well as. Way. And okay. I cannot go complete in because they have the Elder Drake, but if I can send her back, good, and then I'm gonna heal up here. Can't do this. You cannot be there. That's the GG's. That's the GG's. That's the GG's, bro. Really nice. The dumbest player in the team also made sure that we um, lose in the end. They can somehow hold. It has to be a miracle. Because we are losing top. had no reason to be here like what how is this ward going to help what does this guy even think this ward is going to do like they're going to push 
We will never be able to be up here. I don't know what goes through his head for him to think that ward is even slightly useful. Even if you have the Elder, or I mean the Soul, still ridiculously hard because that comp is late game and they have like a solid comp. He needs a report. This is what he has been doing pretty much the entire game. We have to like go all in. Because Kale is gonna... Just AFK split push, okay. That's gonna buy us a little bit of time. So hard to engage. They have a proper support. That peels really well, like she's playing her champ pretty well. Flash up. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Hill's gonna be back. I mean, if she cheap is top. The TP stop is going to be GG's. He has it yet, I'm gonna stay. And it's so GG's. I could not block the wave either. I need normally I would dodge this kind of stuff. But you know, for the sake of the video, because it was still winnable for sure. But if they get to late game like this, and we have like eat random comp, we can't do anything. Like we have no way to engage, and if they run us down, we have no disengage either. So this was a pretty big, large comp gap, and yeah, it's probably going to happen pretty often in solo queue. So. You can definitely dodge some of these games. Welcome, welcome. And seems like we have a TP Ramos. I guess that's mid or what? Maybe that's like a counter pick? I don't know. But it's starting to look a lot more like my, you know, standard soul queue games where um, you lock in the Yasuo, and they're gonna insta lock the Ramos, they're gonna insta lock the Malphite, and all that stuff. So I guess that's support and then this guy is going mid. Oh nice, free stack. If he queues forward, that'd be sick. Didn't. So they have a really tanky team. As you can see, he's also going for Bruiser Kane. Which makes sense. The thing here though is that we have a Swain, and if he gets his items, he can face tank all that. And then there's also a cleanse guys, I'm not sure what the cleanse is about, it's actually pretty useless against our team. Oh no no no, just leave, just leave. Just leave bro, your wave. Just farm, just farm, just let him. Okay, so it's Aatrox mid. You would lose all the minions here if you tried to stop this. i never seen a proxy Ramos before, but seeing and learning new things every day, you guys know? Also, tried something new here, so I tried I'm going for the tenacity. It's going to feel awkward early on. Because they have uh, the Ramesses is pretty annoying. 
to deal with. But against the Aatrox, you don't want to get tagged by the outer edge of his Qs. And also watch out for that one empowered auto attack he's getting. Now he has it up, you can see right here. You can also look at uh, on his champ. Gives him a lot of healing. I think Vi could take him out. I mean, it's working because Wayne doesn't uh, know what to do, I guess. Wayne also can't really do anything, so I think he should just stay on the tower and farm. Fine, anyways. Okay, bot lane died. That is not ideal. Okay, so uses that one jump forward and then you can trade. Normally, you don't see this mid. It's a bit strange playing against this mid, but I mean, it still works, certainly. And anti-healing, uh, definitely a good purchase because they had two champs who heals for a ton. Aatrox and the Kane. And you can win wall that um, skill shot he has. Basically, the only thing you can win wall. He's playing with CP. We need to time our resets. Also be careful that we don't die here to a random gank. Hey, can flash coming in? It's all it's all good. Why is doing stuff topside? I don't mind, you know, my jungle not helping mid if they're getting stuff done on the other side of the map, you know? Either through a gank or taking objectives, then we all good. It's all fine. What sucks though is that when the enemy jungle perma ganks you and your jungle does nothing. That is a disaster. No flash on the cane, I think a good choice to recall. The correct play. I'm gonna cancel this recall one, so I'm not gonna walk up yet. He did stop it, that's why he walked all the way back here. Good. He peace out. <laughs> Whoops. It's clicked. I mean, looks like I don't have to do much this game, yet at least. And he has the tier mat, so it's actually really OP against Yasuo because he auto attacks minions and then proc my shield. Man, that blows. No flash. And I'm dead. This laning is really OP. Real strong because um, he's tanky. And he has a lot of build in sustain, which Yasu does not have. Even if you get to dodge his stuff, you know, he can just walk back because it's mid lane. So you can't really just run him down. I played this matchup terrible. But 
he took advantage of the fact that I lost the flash. So, uh, well played to him. I think we just roam. There's no way our jungler is coming mid and helping. So let's just go on a roaming adventure. Oh, almost. Died to the um, Maokai sapling, whatever that was. Yep. So that's the roaming adventure. We have some synergies, so that's why it's possible. You know, Maokai is insane. No flash. In this one, so why knows? Oh. Oh. That's such a late ult. What? Bro, that's a terrible ult. Waiting that long for no reason. Amor coming in, Kane is here too. We'll just peg off. Don't try, please. Don't do that. No, just one room and gave us two kills. So we are back in the lane. Bit behind in CS wise, but it's okay. That's what happens when you roam anyways. Oh, the cannon. Cannon. On. Maybe I should have let the plate go. Um, I think I also made this mistake last game, is that if the laner is not here and the tower is close to losing a plate, just let the minions take it. That way the opponent will not be able to get the plate. Free plate. We got one. We'll just stay back then. You tank out edge of the Q and it's uh, BG. Makes him heal for so much. And this combo, it's impossible to play around. Okay, Aatrox ultimate out. Once again I had to flash out, kinda sucks because then no one is tomorrow. he would just play around it. Unstoppable. Look at this damage. Yikes. But our teammates are winning so we don't have to end. We could use some help though. It's looking pretty free. Jungle comes, that is. Can you just come? Counter gang and then we get the kills, no? He's not going to come. I just keep pushing then. Not as fast. We TPs. Not. I'm not sure if it's off cooldown yet. But that's a free kill for Vi. Ooh, that's awesome. That is OP. I think I'll stay for the plate. Man, he can just flash me once again. It sucks. Every time I lost a flash. Hit his jump. Nice. In this matchup, just gotta wait. Hit okay, patiently. Because my teammates are winning, so I don't have to force anything by myself and then risk, you know, inting. I already died once. 
Bro, what is this proxy? Just take the waves. I don't understand why he's chasing the Shramus like... Makes no sense. Losing the ways for it. But the Swain is ridiculously fat, so we have somebody who can easily tank. So unlike in a lot of other games we played so far, we have a good comp. Like we actually have a really good comp here. We have insane team fighting. And lots of great synergy as well. Okay, so here, anti healing um, for the Aatrox and also the Kane. So I'm gonna buy it, you know, I just have the component. Uh, you can buy this. Don't really need the armor pin, but. I also just go Bramble West. Good job. Look at how easy it is when you have some good synergy. However, this is not something that you can expect in solo queue. As you can see from my games, it's pretty rare that you get some real good combos. Because people usually just play whatever they like to instead of, you know, thinking about what's good for your champ specifically. Okay, Drake is up. My ultimate is up in 26. I'm gonna push this. Okay, that was a nice pit. <laughs> I, I completely forgot we uh, played against this champ. I completely forgot. I lose the tower for no reason, because I trolled. Oh, yes. Unlucky. But oh, the Vi is doing so much damage. That's a lot of damage. Nice. He might be able to kill, get one more kill. Oh, Aatrox. Oh, she's tilted. I think I think I push mid because they might try to get the tower because it's low. I can flash. Oh no. Oh no, bro. What is happening? That's a bit tilting. That's a free double kill if I did not troll. Losing my flash like that and not getting a kill. Of course, and this ape is also coming. Yikes! Playing a busted ass champ. You see how many. Q's he could miss and still win. You know, we dash around and it doesn't matter. And it's it's how it's going to be against every single bruiser pretty much, because they are both tanky and they have a lot of damage. You only have a lot of damage, you have no tankiness, so that's why you're going to lose out on these fights. Also has the Hydra. Just ridiculous amount of healing. Is he taking anything? Shut down. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, nice. I mean, it's TGS. GG's, we have a fat swain. Enemy 
I have nothing to deal with that. Playing complete armor. AP Kaisa. Okay. It does feel a bit awkward when you have tenacity here, but it does help. It certainly does help. Just have to when I'm behind right here, you know, losing. And I'm just gonna I try really try to take away as many jungle camps too, even from my own jungle, so it helps me get back into the game. Lucia Singh. He's not there yet, at least. Ram is still topside. On the proxy end. It could be that he thought I was going Yasu top. Because originally I was. Thank you, look at this. That's why Swain is too OP against that comp. Originally, I did get top, but then Swain gave me mid. I guess he's getting a ton of stacks, no? Oh, yeah. Almost 700 bonus health. I'm gonna push mid. I haven't done anything useful yet, to be honest. But you don't have to every single game. Sometimes you can just let yourself get carried. I'm gonna push mid since they're fighting, but... What is this? Wait, what? This guy's just running away? Bro, he almost let me die. What? That's a bit pathetic, honestly. It's a zero and ten Ramus, by the way. Two levels down, and he he can kill me. How insanely balanced is that? He's zero and ten, zero and eleven now. It's two levels down. And it's allowed to uh, do that much. I really see BM man. Lost too many kills. Like this, and then we get Infinity Edge. Had to shut down anyway, so it's fine. Trading Flash. For a kill. We get this, and after this, we need some tankiness. I'm probably gonna get like one. Some sustain and then tank items. Against the comp like this, the mistake you can make is just buying squishy items only. Because there are three, you know, super tanky champs with a lot of damage. But even though you have the damage, you don't have the tankiness. So in a fight, you just get bursted down in a single combo. That's why you're gonna get some HP. And you're gonna get some armor. Honestly, how insane is that? I had to get the guys side because I was dead. There's no way I was escaping that. But he can kill, no? Oh, he does not have... I mean, he heals for a lot, but he has no anti-healing. Look at the ceiling. Oh my days. The kiting too. Ooh, nice hit. Well played. That's what I'm telling you guys. They have no answer to this. Because none of them are buying anti-healing. 
It's only the Ramus, but how is this going to help? He just has to not auto attack and he's good to go. Okay, we're gonna get. Maybe, yeah, we get sustain and then I'll probably go into uh, Ice Spawn. The build is pretty similar, you know, most games. The only thing that has changed so far is like the order in which you get the items. Lots of AP, then you just get the wood sand. My honor left a long time ago. I can just wait and hit him once when he's under the tower, then Thornmill is gonna make it so he takes aggro. But I think I'm not gonna let him push him that far. Man, a bit pathetic, honestly. This is why I need lifesteal. That is why I need lifesteal. Ramis is gonna go towards my... But I think Swain can ace them all, no? is waiting for me nice good job you just have to spam click your ult because maokai knockback it's good for your ult but it's really hard to react to because you have you barely have any time it's like a trundle pillar you know you have to insta click your ult Oh, that's a lot of damage. What? Wow. The Baron actually did a bit too much. Others has hold, so I think they got this. Oh, no mind. Why are we uh, losing the Baron? An enemy has been slain. Is he still alive? Oh my days, I could have helped him. I thought he was going to die here. Bro, I almost let him die for no reason. I thought he, he was dead and so I just went mid. But I guess they still have not bought anti healing? Yeah, they haven't. How do you not buy this against the Swain? Honestly, like what? He could be. Zero kills the entire game, man. The result would be the same. But it's going to help when you get a Witsend, because he's dealing a lot of magic damage too with his Hawk Shoes. Gonna get this and then... We start itemizing. Probably. So, one issue here is that when you're trying to build into two different items, you're going to lock yourself out. So it needs straight up 7, 1700 gold, a bit less than that, in order to get the next item. And then probably sell this. Get a Witsend. Because if Swain gets anti-healing, he's gonna proc it on all of them. That's way better. I think all of them are gonna come towards me, so I'm just gonna run back. Yeah, Ken is here. Doing the blue. Sleep is for the guiltless. 
long range ult. They're gonna get hit, right? Oh, they got hit. He didn't. He stopped chasing Satch. It's still insane. Just I I can't wait to see Ram's damage. You know, end of game. Just because of how much I damage myself. Honestly, can't. But it's a game where you just let yourself get carried. Honestly, I haven't done much. Nice. Ooh. We got the Mr. Maokai. Okay. No one can take out the Swain. Do not just get the inhibitor ward. Rams is gonna chase me, I imagine, yeah. But we got the ice pawn now, so we just have to back off. These guys just don't learn. How are they not buying any anti healing? Makes no sense. Let's get the ice phone and last time it's going to be Whitson, just like the last games. And also you see I took the unflinching here. So this is something that could be good when they have a ton of CC while also being a melee comp. Yeah they have right, they have insane amount. The makes you tank here. Oh it should, but I'm still getting one shot, so Yeah, I'm out. If I did not hit that Q. Oh no, 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 no. Man, cringe, really cringe. And I walk back. In the end, I think I just go mid or bot, I mean. Maybe they can then, maybe not. Or they just can inhibit us and back off. I have life still so I can just stay here. And the only thing that allowed me to survive was the HP from the ice phone. Otherwise I would have been toast. Are they able to end? I think they should back. Maybe Swain ult can wipe them all out. Maybe can, maybe can't. Oh, oh, what? He almost survived. She almost survived. Well, GG's. Feels good getting carried. Because we had some rough games, we should have been allowed to win. Nice. Can you tank this? I wonder if we deal any damage to it. Alright, GG's for this game. It was a bit rough from our end, but it's a game where we had some good teammates, so that's always going to happen once in a while. And next game it is. Right, so this is, I think, game number 8 and playing against the Diana Mid. That's another fun matchup. And she can basically go two different builds. She can go Complete Burst, which I think it is because she has Electrocute and Ignite. And she can also go for that Scaling build. But since she's most likely going for the Burst build, she wants to do Short Trades. And if she's going to engage, you want to make sure that you're trading back uh, because she's going to deal a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. But after she did that, she won't have da damage for a while. It's how it is with her assassins. And it's really important that you make sure to trade back because if you don't, 
They're gonna slowly poke you down and then they will dive you. Yeah, bone planning, of course. The standard go to on Yasuo ever since they made it so your passive shield and bone planning does not get procced at the same time anymore. And her Q moves really fast, it moves in an like uh, in arch. So if you understand that, it becomes easier to, you know, move around it, but it's still pretty hard. She so can also start W. Bit nice. I'm not gonna let it get the cleave auto attack. Just, of course, it's the same thing. Against a lot of these matchups that are melee, is that you are abusing your Le One. Gonna wait for this to run out. It makes it really strong. It makes it really strong at trading. Um, that's why she's used a lot, or was used a lot as an encounter to AD Assassins. And if you get hit by this Q, remember it's going to attack you. This is how you want to move against the Q. It's going to attack you and then you have to back off, right? Especially if you're low HP and she has a dash up. Because when she starts fucking the Electrocute, there's going to be so much damage. So if you're going to fight her, level 3, block her Q out. And it's even better if she used the W on the minion wave. Right, she wasted W. Right, he lost the cannon. Risky to do this, but you know, it's a cannon minion. If she engages, means Fiego Syria, there he is. It's an easy way to tell if the jungle is here, you know, just looking at how differently the opponent plays suddenly. If they've been playing passive and they suddenly start engaging and stuff, like playing a bit more aggressive or like intentionally walking up, bait you in, it probably means the enemy jungle is here, so keep that in mind. He's here again. She's not going to die, is she? One HP. He has shield, so I don't hope he get baited. I think he won't make it in time, though. Is he gonna farm mid? He won't. So flashes out. It's a bit of a miscalculation from my end, but it was close to being a kill. Just pinging, um, in case they have not seen that he's outside jungle. I'm gonna keep an eye around here and then insta ping if I see him. One ping does not help, but if you spam ping, then it should. Okay, nice, they are surviving. So if you use your win wall to block out a Q, she might just wait it out and then she engages the next time she has a Q up. So be careful and don't fight here for example. It's a bigger minion wave and Viego is missing. So just poke. Putting her low. I'm trying to take really good trades before she gets level 6. Which is why it can start become difficult with all that burst damage she has. She is like a complete level down. Because I forced her to base previously. If I'd ignite I could probably dive her. Getting a lot of Qs. 
Now just keep this up. Birgo might come at some point. If she bases is fine, we're gonna um, take a play. So I'm not gonna try to cancel her recall with a Q. Come on, recall. Oh my god, once again, really? Birgo might come. He does have a shield up, so I hope he does not get baited into something. Let's try to get a plate if Yago is not here. Second time, 1 HP. And the thing is that her shield refreshes, right? So if you proc the 3 orbs around her, she's going to get another shield. Which is why she survived this one. If I had ignited, she would have been dead, of course. You see, I'm not getting kills. However, I am already establishing a pretty substantial lead by pressuring early on before these assassins really get to their spikes. You know, Diana level 6, Z level 6, Talon level 6, Kiana level 6 and so on. I try to play really aggressive but also in a smart way where I don't just get him ganged and then lose the lane. I had to push, she might roam. It's not, luckily. I think she could have taken out my bot lane if she did. I'm gonna play some normal ward over here. He might be doing the Herald or the Void Crumbs or whatever they call. I'm gonna check. He's not. Uh, are they collapsing on the ribbon? Seems like. I might try. But apparently not. Ooh, we'll try to see if we can help, but. Ooh. Ooh, what? Oh, oh my days. Edge. So he's not gonna show himself? Bro, I can't move, man. What? A rip to a smaller. I bet. Oh, man. Some roams work out, some don't. Everyone's doing great top. It would be a disaster if you know, Fiora got fed again, but this time we have some good scaling. He has some good combo too with a sack. I think it's the first time we get a sack. So now Diana has her ultimate up, you need to be careful and don't just randomly waste your win wall. You know, if you use it to block one Q, since the Q has a very low cooldown, he's just gonna wait and then engage after. I'm gonna place a control ward here. What here? So she has the sheen? I think that's a mistake actually. Just want AP Adams first. The Lich Pain. Because of the poke, you know, with the abilities. I don't see Viego, is he bot? See him now. You know where Viego is at. I want to push this so I can help contest the Drake. I think he might be trying to sneak it. I'm trying to get, you know, um, pressure mid. Bio. If I can help. Okay, we see him. If she uses the Q on the minions.
Then it's also a chance for you to go up and trade with her. It's gonna hold out. Oh, that was almost a that was actually a smart play. Other sec, nice attempt. We'll do this now. Lulu does not have all yet, but I don't think they can do anything about this. Dinah's coming in here. Make sure I'm not getting flanked. Nice. Good synergy. I was thinking about flashing and then ults, but he got this, so I could save my flash. In cases like this, it could be really good to just flash in because he's getting a really good combo off. I'm gonna stay for a bit more, I think. What does she have? Okay, she got the right item now. Oof. Now my windmill is down, I have to be careful. Trying to sneak in a couple hits with a Q. I'm gonna take the rip off. Right, no wards. Ultimate up in 5. Oh, she's going top. And we'll just push. And we can try to shut her off over here, but if he goes on the side, it's a bit bad, actually. So that he was not coming. The sack was not moving. I thought he was going to move, but it's my bad not watching the map. We we got a recall. Oh, there he is. Nice. Can jump out, no? Oh, that's a good one. That is what you should be doing, you know, moving towards your teammates, allies, and not flashing away from them. Dominating. We have a hyperscaling bot lane. Uh, I don't think Lulu's too good with Smolder, but in general, Lulu's very OP. With carries, especially Yasuo. You know, hyper carries like the Vayne and Switch just makes them unkillable. I'm glad we are the ones getting the Lulu. Okay, let's go ahead and push. And then we want to swap once they get their tower bot side. Oh my god, I should also... I wanted to... The thing I tried to do is that he got a knockup and then I tried to get another knockup with a Q, but... Ram shield is a bit disgusting. I don't see the... Okay, he's bot now. I was thinking that I don't see the switch. I think Lulu can defend this. And switch is so low. Diego's here. Oh my god, man, how am I not getting a single kill? It's unreal how lucky this Sina has been this, like, this entire game. Oh, that Kraken is uh, doing stuff. You see, it's another case where you can see 
See, suddenly started playing aggressive. She has been playing so defensive. All this time, suddenly started went going aggressive, and even though we don't have vision, it's pretty obvious that Viego was coming. Your team has destroyed a turret. So, you know, this is how you can tell, even though you don't have vision of the jungle. Lost a stack on that one. Are you giving up uh, Drake or? I'm not gonna try this alone. Twitch is gonna come and I'm gonna get Primacy Seed. Twitch is here, right? Bro, what? Just letting me die? Mr. Yasu got the Drake. I'm not gonna follow him anymore. I went in because he pinged and then you see him, he's just... He's not tanking, that's the problem. He, you saw he started running away immediately, so I was alone. I'm not gonna follow his calls anymore. Unless it's like really obvious that we're gonna um, win it. Wanderer is always lost. The sword's poor company. Still pushing? Probably not. Can you just jump in? Oh, please tell me he has flash up. Okay, at least no flash. But man, these fights are so bad for me. Maybe Diana switch comes and I uh, get a kill? No? Come on man, how is that happening? Bro, this player is so disgusting man. He is so disgusting, what? This is like the Lux player, you know, that always survives like 1 HP because they have barrier and then they get double shield. He has the same luck. It's actually insane. That looks cool. The Baron incoming. Right, let's try to get her again if she pushes. Don't. Probably try to do the Baron. Because they see Riven Bot and Jungle died. Yes, I actually survived. Yikes, I actually survived. It's probably the only time I'll be allowed to survive this game. Okay, let's go top.
Can I push or no? Yeah, she's staying. Get the kill on Fiora and then we do a Drake, no? Guess not. Yeah, I'm gonna stay back this time around because I'm just dying instantly. I'm not flying there, good luck. Have fun. I have to stay back here because you know Brom and Diana ult messes me up big time. That yeah, one is gone. Yeah, Brom. He got to pick up a lot of kills. Fights where I died. Now he's refusing to use that lead. Oh, it's nice to see, isn't it? Yeah, I can't recall here. There's a ward here too. Take this one, and I'm out. And if a fight starts, I'm not gonna help him. Because we won't be uh, two versus one. Someone else will come, guaranteed. I stopped following this guy's calls. And you know what the funny part is? I actually also stopped dying. After I stopped listening to him. Now it's time to pick up some kills though. I can start being useful to. I actually didn't know you could see them taking the souls in the jungle. Like in the fog of war. Okay, we have to watch out for Twitch. A driven split push and smolder clear top side. Press the switch. Yes. Not jumping in. Actually, not jumping in. My long time ago. Jump for switch. Nice, there we go. Now we can take the Baron. I don't think they need me, actually. Alive. Boris alive. And Diana's alive, okay. He's too fast though, because he gets bonus moon speed from Lich Pain. He might recall, let's go and check. Nice. Not so lucky this time, are you, bro? He has been surviving almost every single time. It sounds, it's insane. It's actually insane. I'm not gonna stay any further. Switch could be coming. Rom could also be coming. So don't recall just in the lane. Definitely, I spawn. 
There's no doubt here. No doubt. 480. One is insanely fat. And also because it gives HP, so it become real tanky, you know. If it only gave armor, it wouldn't be as good as it is right now. Because the thing Yasu lacks is HP. An item that gives armor, HP, and the sp spellblade passive, but the slow as well, that's good stuff. He's out of the fight at least, he's gonna come away this around. King just had to walk back. Nice. See the Dino matchup is as long as you play exactly the way I told you guys about, you know, um, not letting it get these short burst traits and then running away. It's a pretty simple matchup, and also playing aggressive early on to like shut her down before she actually gets to her spikes. GG's